You have two feet. You have, you have B1 and B2. One is in liter, one in milliliter. Then make it to same unit, same unit. Then you plug into the formula. Right? So this is the price of one. Anybody needs extra points? I can attempt it. Oh, sure. Mm -hmm. Always attempt to the point, not for the success. I don't do it first. I do it once. Plug with the formula. You don't have to. Right. The equation is there, just plug in the value. Yes, then divide both sides by 3. changes in this PowerPoint, um, so I'll be post it for you, so that you can follow. Okay, new part, new chapter, or new section, okay, titration, what is it guys? Titration. It's neutralizing the acid and base. Yes, that's the way you should do. So if I ask you, um, who are you? If you answer that, oh, I'm, I'm the one who works in this school. So it is like kind of like that you want to say. Yes, you work in this hallway always. That's not the who you are. You see, you that's you work. But titration is a method, an analytical method to calculate unknown concentration from known concentration of a solution in a chemical reaction, in a balance equation. So, look at the couple of new terms I said, couple of new vocabulary guys. First one is titration the new for you. Second is titrant, analyte, and um, standard solution. So, you doing a chemical reaction, as you said, yes, you write neutralizing each other, a neutralization reaction. In the reaction, out of two reagent, one is known, which is called a standard solution. That one is unknown, 
that you're going to calculate the concentration, which is called analyte. So known one is called standard solution, and which is also called titrant. Titrant is a standard solution, which is known concentration. The one you're going to calculate is called analyte. And the whole process is called titration. Look at the step one. Step one, you take your beaker, aluminum flask. In the flask, you are adding your unknown solution. Let's put here as a A and B. So A plus B is the one. So A is a, for instance, A is unknown and B is a known. So with a known concentration of a solution, you are calculating the concentration of the unknown one. So first step, you use a pipette. Using pipette because you can get exact amount that you hoping to take. So there's a, it's a graduating, and you take up to here, for instance, there's a 20 ml it says. So for 20 ml, um, a you taking, which is unknown. And then you add an indicator. So this is the one also graduating uh, uh, tube, it's called B rate. With the B rate, you're adding the B, which is known, which I said standard solution. And you keep adding, keep adding, keep adding until it changes its color. When you see the color changes, that means neutralization is done. Neutralization is completed. Then you calculate how much you need it to reach the color, to see the color. That means how much you need it to complete the reaction, complete the neutralization. <coughs> so, any question? So, can I ask you, what is titrant? Uh, the solution. Titrant is the one which is known. And the one is analyte, which is unknown. Analyte, where? Which one? Top or in the flask? Flask is analyte, titrant in the top, right? So, who, how, you, how come you see the color? Who helps you to see the color, to change the color? Which is called indicator. You add an indicator, some kind of solid, some kind of you know compound that helps you to show that reaction is completed. That changes color at certain point. So look at this. Look at this graph. Very first, you are here. pH is very low because you have only acid. For instance, this is the one. Acid. Acid A and B is a base. So acid A you have in your hand and then acid pH is very low. As you start adding base, you see base is adding, reaction is progressing and as base neutralizing the acid you have in the flask. So whenever acid getting base, pH is rising because base pH is higher, acid pH is lower. So pH is rising, 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 as you keep adding, keep adding, and at a certain point it will jump quickly. At the middle of the curve, middle of the jump, middle of the steep curve is called equivalent point. The point, reaction completed. Acid and base, number of acid, number of base is equal. So number of acid, number of base equal, uh, let me show an uh, equation. Sorry about that. I do not like to use the bigger one. So for instance, sodium hydroxide is a base, plus you're adding acid, which is uh, hydrogen chloride. So acid and base, 
if they are strong acid strong base, the alloys will be forming salt and water. The alloys will be forming salt and water. They will neutralize, they will lift off with salt and water. So here, um, HCl is the one um, is unknown and sodium is a known. So known concentration is called standard solution. These are the indicator. Indicator um, shows different color and different pH. So based on the pH of your neutralizing point, you get a peak, peak you indicator as needed. So at this reaction, acid and base, we use phenolphthalein. If you see the phenolphthalein, the one, I don't know, that is sticky, the one is sticky here. Um, so you see the phenolphthalein? Phenolphthalein is the one changing pH after seven. Yeah. So, thank you. So phenolphthalein is the one, you see, changing is colorless to pink right above seven, right? That's what happened, guys, in this reaction. Acid and base, uh, strong acid and strong base, Neutralizing, neutralization pH, the equivalent point is about 7. So right above 7, it's changing pH. That's why in this reaction, uh, we picked, look at here. So in here, sodium hydroxide and hydrochloric acid, both are strong, and their pH of equivalent point is about 7. So about 7, this indicator uh, was calculated which changes color, colorless to pink, as you saw in the list. So, what if I have different types of acid and base? If this acid is different acid, weak acid maybe, or strong base weak acid, or weak acid strong base, something, then um, we are going to be picking our indicator as their pH of equivalent point. If equivalent point is low, then maybe we will be picking maybe this one with an orange because it's going to be pink and it will become yellow at a low pH. So it, depending on the equivalent point of neutralization reaction, we pick their uh, indicator. Now how to solve the problems in this, in this uh, titration uh, chapter? In titration, um, you have a one known, one unknown, as I said, one known, one unknown. Um, as you did chapter three, chapter three, if you remember, we have a gram of a known to mole of a known, right? And then we are into mole of unknown. So mole of known, Mole of unknown, then we calculated gram of unknown. So it was a. Remember that? Just trying to recap you guys. Gram was known one, right? Gram to go to mole, mole to unknown mole by multiplying coefficient of the from the equation, and then gram with the multiplying molar mass. So in here we will be introducing two more concepts. Is one is volume and other one is molarity. Volume and molarity. So you might have a volume, might have a molarity. And instead of gram, you might need to calculate uh, molarity, which is concentration, or volume. It depends what you need. So, Instead of gram, if you have uh, volume and concentration, can you calculate your mole of no? Yes, can you? How? So molarity, because molarity times volume, you can get the number of mole. The same, if you get uh, mole of unknown, can you get volume of unknown? 
So you get mole of unknown, right? Okay, mole. Mole of unknown. Can you get volume of unknown? Yes or no? How? There you go. Formula is right here. Yeah. Here. Just dividing by? So if you need volume, dividing by molarity. If you need molarity, dividing by volume. Right? The same way, so um, at the same we did circle 3, only introducing two different um, concentration and volume. So two new terms um, we're going to be applying. Uh, let's see, solve the problem. So this is like different way of presentation, what I just said. Okay, solve this one. You can see that? Yes. Okay, let me make it bigger, guys. Um, yes, you can. Still not? Carlos? Camila? Ben? Demaris? Tena? Hugo? No? Yeah. Angelica? Here, um, 
Why you do what's so hard to read your name? Because I can't write. I can tell you. You know you can. What you can do, guys, I feel like in this case, write a capital, all capital. Capital is going to be easy that way. I was able to, yeah. The only thing was today. No one is seeking for an extra point today? Yeah. This one's harsh. Yeah, this one's hard. Yeah. <laughs> so, I need to put my name last time. I mean, I can put it Yes, you can put your name here. Good. Oh, yeah? Oh, okay. For quiz four, yeah. For quiz four, I have to make hard. Okay. No? Okay. So, from now on, I'll be posting. Uh, From now on, I'll be posting quiz, uh, model quiz for you guys, okay? Practice quiz. Practice quiz. So that you can get more idea about the whole So I don't have to hard. So who said it is hard? Jamalis, you said that? Or? Yes, sir. Did you have the other test? Yeah. Okay, if you haven't see, got your exam back, you have to see me. Oh. You have to see me one on one. I have a secret meeting with you guys. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. Demon is a good set of Oh, I said I was just stuck after one point. I didn't know So, you, you know how first point, right? Grab the ball, right? Yeah, yeah. Did you write the equation first? Those are my like for that one? Yes, because <laughs> oh, it wants to you have to. The you don't know what oh. you don't know that you don't know the coefficient. I know that's why I'm saying I don't know where I was supposed to. Get that. Yes. Oh, so you just write that and then you balance it out and then you just write it out. Oh. <laughs> Okay, hold on. Guys, uh, very first, this is the format, you know that, right? You're going to go to mole from known to mole of unknown. When you go there, you will be multiplying by coefficient, right? From unknown over known. Remember that? So that means you need to know the equation first. So calcium hydroxide plus nitric acid, which makes you calcium nitrate plus water. So you started with the two calcium, two calcium nitrate, two nitrate, and Calcium, yes. So that means nitrate and calcium nitrate, calcium hydroxide and calcium and nitric acid. One to two, you see? It not only not will be one to one. So it's one to two. So yeah, now we can do that. Are you not writing dimensional format? Are you not going to write dimensional? Oh, I am, but this is just calculation. Yeah, before I do that. Yeah. I'm doing it wrong. Just okay. Mole of calcium hydroxide. Yes. Should I do it backwards? No, no, yeah, backwards. Okay. Okay. So, what you should start off with the nitric acid? Why? That's the known, right? That is the known. Yeah. Yes. So to get, to get the mole of nitric acid is molarity times volume in liter, right? Oh, okay. I was, I was just doing all that. That's what I did. Yeah, it is. I was thinking more of that. So, so this should be more. Can I take a seat? Yeah. There you go. Yeah, this is good. It's no liters. Yeah. 
Which is unknown, multiplied by one or two. Then multiply by molar mass to go to mole to gram. You did that part before. Any question, guys? You have to solve one more. <coughs> yes. Yeah, how did you get the, uh, what, what did you have to do to, to get the uh, 0.025? She did the work. Okay, uh, okay. Let, me, let, me, let me break it down, okay? So it'll be more clear. So what you could do, so in here, to get to the mole, you put number of mole over volume. So number of mole you have in here, which is, um, so to get the, this is the formula, right? Uh -huh. Molar I see what you did now. I see what you did. So point one zero zero molar solution times point zero two five, which was the layer. So that's what she got it from. Okay, I see that. Okay. So one more? Uh, yes, one more. So it will be a little bit different, but actually the same for me. Oh, 
what is the step on? What do you do step on to solve the problem? Write out the equation first. Then you start making more and then first step. So, which is the known non component here? Sulfuric acid. So, H2SO4 plus sodium hydroxide. Right? Which is, remember that this always the equation you have in this problem or you'll be given, always going to be double displacement reaction. You don't need to worry about that. How can I get the product? I don't know. You don't need to know. Just should swap their partner, right? OH coming, sulfate plus, sulfate going to the OH place, right? So it's forming water plus sodium sulfate. When you write sodium sulfate, do not forget to put two in here because sulfate is two negative ion. And then you saw that it's not balanced. Over side, two sodium, so I need two <coughs> in here mm -hmm. to uh, make it equal. Yes. So which one is A, which one is B? Or which one is known, which are known? Known is sulfuric acid, right? Yes. That's you're going to start off. So 45.7. Seven milli. So you need to go to the leaders. So leaders gonna be on the because your goal your goal is to get to the mole. Then you need to divide by one thousand milliliter. So that is the volume and concentration you have in here is 0.5. 0.5. 